go on to win another two Grammy Awards working with Quincy Jones. What does Quincy mean to you? Well, uh, Quincy, to me, as, as far as producers go, he's one of the most brilliant guys out there. Cause not like, it, 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 not like he's a producer like if he's going to come up with every note. But what he does, and he, and he did it for Michael, and he did it for countless other artists, he knows how to put the right people together to make the project a project. And like, you know, talking, you know, with Rod Temperton, he was one of the writers, and then every time they would do a track for Michael Jackson, like, for every track, you know, they would write, like, you know, six different tracks for the track, so then he could pick the best track. And, and you know, having all, you know, the best guitar players, Greg filling games, you know, the best uh, uh, studio mixer, you know, he was just good for, you know, just putting the right people together to do, to make a project a real event. And I just so happened to be, you know, like as far as with all the hip hop guys, I was, you know, like I was Quincy's guy. Like, you know what I mean? If he, if he, if he ever had something to do with hip hop, you know, then he'd, he'd always give me a call and, you know, I'd come through, you know, and just, and not, not even adding nothing to the project. It's like, okay, yeah, Mel's my dude, he's here, and let's make it happen. So, I mean, uh, you know, Quincy was like, he, he was the guy that really gave me the stamp of approval as far as not even with my peers, but as far as, you know, the, the, it, with industry people, because it's like, yeah, 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 he, you know, he's tight, you know, he's real tight with Quincy, so obviously I can't be a total asshole. You know? <laughs> <laughs>